Bam! So the BAM box is back again. I can't tell you how happy and excited I am to say that every single month with enthusiasm and sincerity because we absolutely love this box. Yes, we do. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's a home run, sometimes it's not, but even when it's not, we still absolutely love it. Adam and the team at the BAM box do a fantastic job. This is the 90s, which to me was a pinnacle decade in my life. Certain things happened in my <laughs> life that changed my path forever. Me. <laughs> I became a proud father, papa, of my lovely daughter, who's sitting here, who had no chance of not being a geek. No. <laughs> not with me as your dad, you're done. Yeah. <laughs> so, it was a great decade for me. The first few years were kind of goofy, but, uh, Buckled myself down and and there we go. Yeah. Flash forward now, old man. <laughs> so I am super excited. 90s was kind of weird. I mean, there was some good stuff in the 80s, you know, all the campy rompiness. 90s, I'm just trying to really remember what oh, was yeah, in the, the 90s. 90s were lit. Like, the 90s were the best, I feel like. Just all kinds of craziness. I do remember Power Rangers was in the 90s because... I used to have it on TV when she was young, and we would have Power Rangers on, the way back one. So I'm interested to yeah. see what they're going to do with the movies. Of course, 90s, anime was at its pinnacle. This is when it was really kicking off, and it was like super amazing. And just, ugh. And you also had all, you know, all the great 90s TV shows, Saved by the Bell, Fresh Prince, a lot of good stuff. Ooh, and 1999. Phantom Menace, which to me, Ray Park, the whole way, that was the best part of the movie was Darth Maul. Yeah. And everybody focuses on the Jar Jar guy, but to me, Darth Maul, mm -hmm. fantastic. We love Ray Park. Really, really cool getting to meet him. Yeah, that was cool. So it's February, it's the BAM box, and the theme is the 90s. As always, we never peek. Nope. I accidentally sort of read some kind of comment when I was on Bam's uh, Facebook page and I immediately stopped reading because yeah. some people weren't happy. But, you know, I look at everything they've ever put out and you're either a fan of what their theme is or you're not. So, some people liked the 90s, some people didn't. The thing with the, the Bam box I have to say though is that nothing in here feels like a promotional item or some like marketing thing. You know, it's all like cool stuff that you really, you can't just like buy on ebay or you know what i'm saying it's cool stuff like even when i'm not crazy about it i still like yeah. it because it's better than some of the other subscription boxes where we've gotten where i've looked at it salt and pepper shakers yeah, and i exactly. just want to go absolutely There's nuts no salt and pepper shakers in the bam box put a stamp on it the guru stamp of approval no salt Amen. pepper shakers adam, 2017 adam, no salt and pepper shakers ever adam <laughs> just going like this now I don't think they ever will. I can't see it happening. So, super excited. 90s was a great decade for me. Yeah, it was. It was a good a good decade. Mmm. Okay. Ooh. I see oh, a... Oh, 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 I don't know. I see a... <gasps> oh, my God. See, we're done. Everything else in here can be oh bad, God. and we're good because she's just a static. Oh, it is a beanie baby. And it's a ghost too. Oh my God. <laughs> beanie babies were this is my huge. Life. I know. Huge back in the nineties. This is like gold. I'm like, I don't want to touch it. It's like I want to keep it in the little baggie. Yes, those were like what the uh, Cabbage Patch Kids was. Like, I think the seventies or eighties. It was craziness. I think they still make them. Cabbage just, Patch. No, the beanie oh the beanie babies. babies. I think so. They still make them. Crazy, yeah. crazy collectibles back then. This is Spooky. He was born October 31st, 95. It says ghosts can be a scary sight, but don't let Spooky bring you any fright. Because when you're alone, you will see the best friend that Spooky can be. That's very cool. I like this. 
I was just thinking about Beanie Babies the other day, like about something. So that's really cool. So Great happy. job, Adam. <laughs> We're done. We're good. We can yeah. close it right now. I only have to get that reaction once out of every box, and it's worth it to me. Well, that's like the OG. Like people, everybody compares the Funko Pops to Beanie Babies. That's like our our decade of Beanie Babies. Yes, you know, the but that's wall. like OG right there. It's growing over there. It's growing yes. over there. They'll meet in the middle, but they'll run into the Predator stuff in the back. So who knows? Um, now that's puck. That's weird. That is a hockey puck because I got a couple of these. Official size hockey puck has been hand signed by Matt Doherty, who played Les Aveman in the Mighty Ducks movie franchise. I had a feeling it was from Your private signing with the band box. Mighty Ducks, you know, I I think the first one had its little niche, was, was that kind of feel good movie, and then, you know, I don't know how many sequels they made, but we didn't really. I didn't watch anything past the first one. I don't think I watched the whole first movie, but hey, you know what? This is one of those things where it's, it's. I would have never thought about putting that in a box, and I still like it better than a salt and pepper shaker. So we got this, um, Boston Creative Company. It's got kind of like a gold emblem on it. Um, it looks kind of familiar. It's... Oh my God. <laughs> It's a spoon. No soup for you. Oh my god. Which of course, to me, can only mean one thing. The soup Nazi in Seinfeld. I could That's be really wrong, cool. no, but I don't think so. No soup for you. I love the Seinfeld yeah. show. Seinfeld was awesome. A show about nothing that absolutely captivated American audiences for, I can't remember if it was nine seasons. Uh, and they went out on top. I remember watching the very last episode of Seinfeld. Your mother and I watched it very sad. Yeah. Because we love Seinfeld. It was great. Yeah, I think I think this is cool. It's kind of like the irony of it, you know? We'll have to put it with our TARDIS uh, screwdriver. That's cool. Spoon. I'm, I'm digging that because I'm a yeah, big like Seinfeld fan. So that's cool. That trumps the hockey puck. This has got to be some kind of a print. Yeah. And there's a... Hmm. Let's peek. Oh my god! <laughs> Speaking of That's Saved so by the Bell, this is hysterical. Now, actually, Mario probably looked more like that. But we were talking about Saved by the Bell, so we've got the little AC Slater versus that Zach every Morris. Every morning before going to school. Kelly Kapowski versus Jesse Spano, Lisa Turtle versus Screech <laughs> Powers. Interesting. I was not expecting that. And it looks like uh, the signature is from the creator Josh Lamont. You also could have gotten the one versus the wannabe, and so that would be. Neo versus Agent Smith and uh, the International Man of Mystery versus the Evil Scientist. So very cool pulling from nineties. The Neo versus Smith. Yeah, well, from and of like course Matrix. we got our pin, and we got the Super Soaker. Super Soaker was cool. That's cool. I would have been happier with, I think, the Neo versus, but you know what? Looking at it with the way they Photoshop the faces, yeah. As big of a Matrix fan I am. I think this works out better, mm -hmm. actually. Yeah. Especially since you called it. I mean, it was great that you said Saved by the Bell. I mean, that was yeah. awesome. And of course, the Soup Nazi. And Beanie Babies. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The teddy bear was the classic. The pins. Oh, Furby. Was that a Furby? Yep. So, yeah, pins you could have gotten the Super Soaker, Furby, or uh, these are kind of like um, Nike shoes the plastic high top now the expansion pack for the 90s is something super cool it's not a huge secret although i don't know if she knows what it is okay well we did get the expansion pack it's just not here oh. i go nuts waiting because we try to wait for stuff and we try to couple the bam box with the expansion box or We've got two other boxes that we do a versus, which means I gotta sit there and eyeball the boxes for two or three months and it drives me nuts. Yeah. 
So we do have the expansion pack coming for the BAM box. Since it's not here, eh, you know, we'll do it at a little bit later time. It's pretty cool. When she sees it, I think she'll like it. Yeah, hopefully. I'm not going to say I anything like else because I'm going to give it away if I do. But it's super cool. And those of you that know, don't you say it worked. <laughs> but I liked it. So, yeah, I did too. you know, again, this is one of those <laughs> things where you either liked it or you didn't like it. There's mm -hmm. no in between on this. Uh, to me, the soup Nazi was perfect, and the the reaction with the beanie babies, I, know, I was, yeah. that was that was that was I was sold right that, there. To touch like touch my childhood, that's you know, yeah. Yeah, cool. And of course, I know you like the little picture of the boys. Very cool. I'm liking it. Yeah. Next month is indestructible oh, is the cool. theme, which. I think they've been hinting around on the the Facebook page. Sometimes I look, sometimes I don't. Sometimes I really want to be surprised. I don't keep my, my blockers on. There's another subscription box that completely gives everything away. That's got a theme that's huge that Disney's involved with now. Spockers Bounty. That yes. just absolutely <laughs> spoils it every single yeah. time. They already tell you what's coming, and it drives me nuts. I don't like looking at spoilers. I'd rather kind of get a true reaction to something that's in the box. On that note. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and share with your friends. Until next time, stay weird. Bye.